I hope everyone is doing great. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to download Earthquake data from USGIS Earthquake Catalog. So, use this tag USGIS Earthquake Catalog. Now search. So you can see the first link earthquake.usgs.gov. So click on this link. So from this website, you can download the Earthquake data. And this is a worldwide data. The data availability is from 1900s. And if you are looking for a rich data, or uh, at a global scale, you need uh, you require data. So it is uh, starting from the year 1980s. So they are also continuously continuously improving the data sets. So let us see how to download the data set. So you can see the first is basic options. Here you can uh, choose the magnitude of the earthquake. For example, if you are looking for 2.5 or 4.5, so I'm going to go with customs, and uh, I'm going to select from uh, 2.5 to 7.5 or 7.8. Here you can choose the time, start time, and end time. So in date and uh, time, you can see past seven days data sets, past 30 days data sets. You can also customize it. For example, you can see I'm going to customize it and I'm going to get the uh, get or gather data from the year 2000 to 2025 right so if you are looking for a larger area try to uh, restrict the years because uh, you won't be getting the result properly uh, properly in the terms there will be an error notification there is some processing uh, limit for this uh, website to work so please try to stick on if you are uh, looking for a larger area try to reduce the number of years try to get it uh, decade by decade uh, or uh, 15 years once likewise you can try it and check it out so after selecting the date range here you can choose the geographic region so you can see default it is world so i'm going to choose custom and here you can draw a box and select the select your region of interest so just zoom in use the mouse scroll button to zoom in to any particular location for example i required for this area right so left click on the map you can draw a box like this after that when you are done once again click on left click so we have selected a region of interest after this choose use this region so that it will be automatically picked up the extent will be picked up here you can find the advanced options like if you have uh, the geographic regions uh, coordinates on the four sides you can import it so here you can find some other options also uh, earthquake depth azimuthal gap circle uh, center latitude center longitude and outer radius of the earthquake likewise you can choose it accordingly in uh, review status you can see any or automatic or review and in the event type if you just click on you can select only earthquakes naturally occurring and you can see uh, non earthquakes you can see uh, accidental explosion acoustic noise building collapse likewise you can also get this data set you can filter filter it and get it right now after that here you can also select the contributors there are a lot of contributors available so I'm going to just leave it as any any and finally you can see the output options which are available for example you can download it in any formats so I'm going to choose CSV you can see KML QuackML GeoJSON MapList is also available so I'm going to order it by the oldest first right now hit on search it will take a couple of 15 to 20 seconds based on the data sets so you can see here the data has been downloaded successfully let us view that so this is how the data looks like So you will be getting the latitude and longitude, depth, magnitude of the earthquake and when it was updated 
and the place where it happened so like this you can get the data sets right now if you want to uh, take it to GIS make it as make it into a point data and visualize it let us see how to do that so let us first close this now move to layers add layer so we are going to choose delimited text layer and let us browse the file from here so you can see the query file it's in CSV click on open and now we are going to choose in x value longitude and y is latitude right now after that click on add you can see how the data has been added to the map canvas and let us also add some base map to it ESRI shaded relief or ESRI physical now let us bring on this data to the top so now you could see the earthquake distribution from the year 2000 to 2025 First, in order to export it as a shape file, right click on this layer and you can see the option export. So select save feature as and after that use this button to browse and save. So let me create a folder. So after giving any name to it, click on save, now click ok. Now the data will be successfully exported as a shape file, as you can see here. Now let us remove the previous layer. You can also visualize the uh, earthquake magnitude. You can uh, increase the size of these points based on the earthquake magnitude. So for that, move on to the option properties. So move on to symbology and here you can find graduated and under that in method you can see size. So here I am going to set the size from 1 to 8 or 1 to 9. Now after that we are going to classify it and sorry before that we are going to choose the field uh, attribute field where the earthquake magnitude is given so you can see the field called as MAG that is nothing but the earthquake magnitude so right now let us classify it so you can see here it has been classified into five classes uh, earthquake from 2.6 magnitude to 4.1 likewise you can see up to 4.7 to 7.8 so you can uh, increase it or decrease the classes so I have just uh, reduced it to three classes or you can also go for four classes right you can choose the colors for it so for example 4.6 to 7.8 I'm going to choose a darker color right okay and after that followed by that 4.4 to 4.6 so let me select some other color for it so you can see there is a there's no much difference over here so I'm going to choose equal interval and now you can see it has been classified accordingly let us once again choose a color for it so you can see some uniformities from uh, 2.6 to 3.9 some 3.9 to 5.2 5.2 6.5 6.2 7.8 that is looking good So for this we are going to select a lighter color. Okay. 
and for this let us choose orange okay now finally for this one we are going to choose yellow color okay click apply so you can see at the background it has been changed so apply click ok before that you can also label it for example single label so I am going to choose once again the magnitude of the earthquake right apply click ok now you can see the legend over here and accordingly you can see the earthquake data so if you just zoom in to any particular location you can also find the earthquake magnitude 6 4.2 likewise so if you only want to visualize the earthquake from 5.2 to 6.5 you can also do that so once again in symbologies you can choose the layers for example if i don't need this from here i don't need this so i can i can change the opacity i can set it to zero click ok apply now you can just only visualize the earthquake from 5.2 to 7.8 likewise you can choose accordingly you can open the attribute table of this data and check you can arrange it based on the dates so you can see from 2000 to 2025 you can also select it and you can export it for the year 2000 so I have selected at top I have selected it and likewise you can select it at the bottom also so here you can find 2000 so like this you can select and you can export it year by year also that is also possible right so i hope that this video will be helpful to you and uh, if you like this video please uh, support us by giving a like and subscribe to the channel thank you